in Athens' Parliament Square, a man made famous for his resistance to the Nazis has joined the fight against what he calls the latest occupation of Greece. This time Manolis Glezos isn't fighting an enemy force, but the EU and IMF, who are forcing austerity measures on Greece in return for a 12 billion euro bailout. A new democracy is being born in Greece, a direct democracy. Perhaps we've still got a long road ahead. Perhaps it will be difficult, but the foundations have been in place since the people came together on the 25th of May. Manolis is known for his great act of resistance 70 years ago during World War II, when he climbed on the Acropolis and tore down the swastika. Hitler gave a speech to the Reichstag, in which he said, now nobody in Europe is opposed to us. So we told him, that's what you claim. Well, you'll see that from now, the battle begins. This resistance fighter was arrested three times, both by the Nazis and by the Italians. Each time he managed to escape, and each time he took up arms in hiding. In the Greek civil war and the military dictatorship that followed, Manolis was sentenced to death several times and served over 11 years in prison for his political convictions. Convictions which are as strong today as they ever were. Today we have reached a level of submission that's approaching 100%. Foreigners are deciding everything. Everything. Rather than bailouts and austerity plans, Manolis Glezos says Greece's creditors should cancel his country's debts, reminding us that Germany still hasn't paid the reparations it owes Greece after the Second World War. <laughs>